Today we're going to look at a uh, Construct 2 game that I made a couple years back and have recently decided to work on a little bit and change it over to uh, Construct 3. It was made in Construct 2 over the course of about a year off and on. And I got it to a point where I was happy with it. It never was intended to be a commercial product. It was just learning how to use Construct and make all the assets for it. But I'm pretty happy where it, where it turned out. It's on the uh, Sarah Arcade uh, on the Construct website on the Sierra Arts Cage. You can find it and play through it. It's complete. It's 100 levels uh, with all the mini bosses and the final boss. But I'm going to play a little bit of it now to show it off and talk about it a little bit. I got my instruction scene. It takes you, you can get back to the instructions. Mute, mute the music and go full screen. You change the difficulty, which primarily deals with how many enemy ships spawn and then how sometimes it has to do with the hit points. And then the game length, which has to do with how fast the waves uh, the game considers you've passed a wave of enemies. Trying to last through a hundred ways to get to the planet devourer and destroy it. The little red, orange colored enemies are your basic enemy, and they're gonna just come towards you at the early levels. Later on levels, they'll they'll start to sign up and down, uh, making them diff more difficult to hit, cover more of the map. The asteroids that you see. They come in randomly. Uh, they're hard to kill, but they're the only way that you can get uh, player lives, uh, plus one up power ups. It's very rare, but it's, they're the only thing that drop those. And then the, uh, the planets you see in the background, they'll slowly scroll off the screen as you travel through the galaxy. I believe you eventually get to Saturn by the time you meet the planet devourer. Unfortunately, you never get to see Uranus. The little blue blue guys drop orbs. And when them orbs explode, if you're within the radius, you take damage both to your health and to your shield. And they also take your weapon class down one. <clears throat> which it's at the base base weapon class now so it's it's not going to reduce it any the other ships that you'll see that come in look like they got a little drill bit on the front they're they're ram ships they'll also take your weapon class down with that thing there he just comes in and tries to ram you and then you have the the disc there that comes on screen and stops and begins to shoot you it should be a nuisance. You just have to keep them from stacking up. But the ram ship, he'll initially, he only changes direction as he comes on screen in the early levels, but later in later levels he'll change directions two or three times. Uh, can actually come up from behind you if you're not careful. So you have to really keep them things knocked out because they also reduce your weapon level. Right now we're at weapon level 2. You'll see me do an auto save reload right here. 
every approximately 20 seconds the game auto saves. If you hit R, you'll jump back to the latest auto save, which is what I used there when I missed the uh, weapons kit. I jumped back to prior before the weapon ship got there and was able to catch the second one. It was a debug thing and I left it in because it's pretty pretty cool. If you hit H you get this help menu and it shows you there your auto load. You can also hit K which also you'll see me do right here. I just saved it by hitting K. After the fight, I'll hit L and reload it back into the fight. So that's yes, how you can save a your own save point, kind of like a save state in an emulator. And then, see I'm reloading it with L, right back toward my save state. So using uh, K and L, you can save your own save points while, while in game, and then reload that one save point back. So if you're going into a boss fight, you can save it. If you're worried, you're not going to win. And like I said, you can always use R to jump back to the last auto save. Which is handy if you, if you die for some stupid reason. You can jump back prior to when you die. Like I said, I don't take this game too seriously. It never was meant to be commercial. It was to learn to use Construct. Uh, it's feature complete. It's got everything I want in it. I added most of the saving stuff just so I could practice using the save stuff. The little computer chips you see that I pick up in this thing here, there, there's two power-ups and there's one double power, two times laser damage, which is what that the two time laser damage comes from killing ram ships. And the uh, when you kill the level 25, level 50, and level 75 mini boss, you pick up a health uh, chip which causes your health to auto generate up to its maximum by the time you get the third one. Uh, so you get you get passive health gener generation, which is, comes in handy. And the other chips you get from killing, see there the ram ship turned into me and took away my uh, missile launcher. But they just dropped another weapons kit so I got it back. The, that's a two times damage chip. But the other, the other chip that you get from destroying the shields and sometimes from destroying other things. They, they increase your passive shield generation a very small amount, but it, it can add up by the end of the game. And the green, the green uh, crates heal your health, the blue crates refill your shield, uh, I think 60%, and then the brown ones are weapons. And it's heavily skewed to drop weapons. The idea is, is you want... There's a lot of things to take away your weapon level, but there's also a lot of weapons being dropped. The idea is that you get, you get the weapons, and then you've got to struggle to maintain the weapons. And plus they're fun to play with. Uh, now this is... This is where I end it here. Um, there'll be, like it says, almost a level 50. There's a mini boss at 50. There's a mini boss at 75. And then you finally get the final planet destroyer at 100. If you beat him, you win. And it, it shows you your final XP score. Unfortunately, Construct 3's arcade doesn't have a leaderboard like it used to in 2. Or at least I haven't figured out how to do it, so it, you you won't have a leaderboard with your final score. Feel free to post it in the comments. That's uh, Captain John Doe saves the universe. A little guy created in Construct Two and ported to Construct Three. Uh, I'll post a link to the uh, Sierra Sierra Arcade uh, to my to the game if you want to play it. 
and uh, like I said, it's on the Construct 3 website, Seraphs, S-C-I-R-R-A, and the community section of the arcade, and Captain uh, J. Doe saves the universe. But like I said, I'll post a link in the comments. So I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any comments or questions, just post them in the post below the video. And uh, once again, this has been another video by Chris Plays Old Games.